name is Lila Klasos. My husband Ernst and I moved to an acreage south of Sherwood Park when we retired from teaching in the 90s. That's when we joined Bethel. When Ernst's health gave out in 2010, we moved to St. Albert to be close to a hospital and to our children. In 2012, Ernst was called home to his eternal home by Jesus, and I have been living alone ever since then. In the past nine years, God has showered me with so many blessings, including good health and three wonderful children who are taking such good care of me. I am 93 years old. That means the Lord can call me to be with him anytime. Of course, that is true for everyone from infancy on. But at 93, it is a certainty that it will occur relatively soon. Although death is inevitable, it is not natural. God did not create us to die, but to live with them in eternity. I don't know about you, but I don't want to die. There are times when I'm even afraid of death. But God has supported me with his peace that passes all understanding so many times in my past that I am confident he will do so when my time comes. Today I would like to share not only some of my thoughts about dying, which I have gathered while reading and studying the Bible, but also some of the questions that come to me from time to time. What will it be like to die? What will happen to me? And how can I be sure? After my last breath, I hope to be taken directly to Jesus to spend eternity with him. I trust his promises, especially his words on the cross when he said to the thief hanging next to him, today shalt thou be with me in paradise. But I'm also looking forward to the time when Jesus will return to earth on the last day, when God will create the new heaven and the new earth and when he would give me my glorified body, I will then praise God in eternity. But in between will be the judgment. What makes me so sure that all this will, in fact, happen? I am not sure. And often I doubt and have questions. But when those times come, I always end up asking, with the apostle Peter, but to whom, Lord, shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. It is by faith that I grasp this hope and expectation. I base this faith on Jesus' death and resurrection. That, in turn, however, leads me to some more questions. Why did Jesus have to die on the cross? And how does his terrible suffering and death save me? Couldn't God have chosen a different way? I have often come across passages that give reasons for Christ's death. Many I memorized. For example, the prophet Isaiah said, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. The Apostle Paul in Galatians put it this way, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. So what will I say when I stand in front of God's judgment seat? Will I say, I know I don't deserve your mercy, but your son took my punishment? Or will I say, Christ has redeemed me and reconciled me with you? 
I will turn to Jesus sitting at the right hand of the Father, and all I will say is, Jesus, that will be enough. Because when I enter the judgment hall, I will already be wearing that white dress given to me by the triune God at my baptism, which made me white with the blood of the Lamb. As the Apostle John wrote in Revelation 7, and the quotation is adapted, these who are arrayed in white robes are the ones that have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, and God shall wipe away every tear from their eyes. Lord, this I believe. Help thou my unbelief. I would like to close with a prayer that I learned as a child. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am and waiting not to rid my soul of one dark blot, to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am, though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt, fightings and fears within, without, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Just as I am, thou wilt receive, wilt welcome, pardon, cleanse, relieve, because thy promise I believe. O Lamb of God, I come, I come.